Hello, so I'm looking to launch it in the next couple of weeks, so uh, I'm stepping up my preparation. So in this video we'll be finishing off the 12 volt electrics, we'll be testing the engine again to make sure that it pumps water and doing one or two other little jobs. I've managed to get a wire, uh, some cable round under this unit through here uh, into the battery area here. I've got one still remaining that goes around here up and into the panel there so I can manually turn the bilge pump on if I want to. That's all wired in there now. I just need to finish the battery side. But in here, it's going to go, the bilge pump's going to go about there. Um, I'm going to find a way of fixing it in place. Uh, the wire will sort of be mounted up here out of any water. Um, and I just need to get some pipe and I'll probably hook it up to the, um, the sink outlet under here. I just need to measure the pipes because I think they're not the standard three quarter inch ones diameter inside. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I just need to measure that and I shall put some uh, one way valves in them to stop uh, bilge water coming out the sink and vice versa. So I've rigged it up now, fused the permanent uh, and put the uh, negative on. I've also linked the one, the wire from up there to this. Um, I've just attached it to there for now. Um, it, it's I'm going to put it on these posts here, um, but I haven't got the right size nuts for them, so uh, it's just there for now. And I'll move them over in a week or two. And there it is, tucked away in its battery box. Just still waiting for the kill switch now, uh, and then we should be done. So I've now installed the automatic charge controller. I've put it just here for now. As you can see, it's flashing. Um, so it's on. Um, so I've put 270 amp wires on it with a 100 amp fuse in between, going to each side, each battery. So that's this battery, that's the internal battery. And then it's got a ground wire that goes directly to ground there it needs a uh, I need to one day find which one's the ignition um, and tap into that and put it up it on because it stops it working when it's cranking then if you do that but that's optional um, but I've just cable tied it there for now it's pretty solid um, I'm thinking about putting it under here um, but I'm not too keen on drilling holes in in things um, like this I like keeping things standard or as standard as possible uh, like they came out of the factory so I'll have a think about that uh, it's already had some holes drilled in here anyway I think they had a um, probably had a, a tiller pilot uh, a wheel pilot thing on there so that's a cover um, yeah, the uh, the ground is actually fused. It says it says to fuse it, so it's actually fused uh, the ground wire there. And I've just cable tied the um, solar charger onto there as well, temporarily, just to keep it up and solid and out of the way. So I've just started cleaning the cockpit. Um, I'm making it it's it's all sort of like this um, and I've tried it with a sponge and that and it doesn't come off very easily so what I've actually got is a bit of power and shine kitchen cleaner spraying it on using a scouring brush just giving it a scrub 
and then just giving it a wipe off afterwards and it comes out a treat so I've got to do that for the rest of the cockpit but that bit's come up quite nicely as has this bit and the clipper cover has as well uh, I've also cleaned out the uh, uh, lockers at the back and the fuel cans I've had a clean up as well so I found a plastic tub that's just about big enough um, to hold the bottom bit so I'm going to fill that with water and just start it and just check that it actually um, is pumping water Okay, here we go. And there we go, perfect. Extremely quiet for a two stroke. So I got the uh, new kill switch, there it is, it's got off, on and out, out V in, you turn it that way and you can remove the cap at the front. Right, it's uh, 150 amps continuous with 500 amp cranking for 5-10 seconds. So that hopefully will do the job, I'm hoping it will just fit straight into the slot. But we'll find out. So first of all, I guess we need to make sure it's off over here. So there it is done. A new one. So we'll just test it now. So I'll turn on the main power, which will basically connect the positive circuit together. So hopefully now this should still be off. So if I turn the cabin light on, yeah, that's still off. So if I put this in, hopefully if I turn it to on, uh, cover lights, come on, turn it off. There we are, and you can leave that in. If you leave it just in the off position, that's fixed in there. Or you can actually turn it to out and take that out. But we'll leave it off for the minute. And we'll just turn the cover lights on back off. Good, all done. Uh, the other thing, just to mention, on the other side of this, I put uh, a load of uh, Vaseline all around the terminals once I've connected them just to try and protect it a bit because obviously it's in the bilge area and it can get a bit damp under there so, so that's the old internal kill switch that's probably been in there since it was created in 2002 and you see that's uh, continuous of 40, 20 and 40 amp uh, well sorry 20 amp at 12 so actually the smaller one we're putting in is, is far upgraded to this so that can go in a bin. So I bought some of uh, this stuff. It's quite cheap. It's sort of uh, to try and help things not slip about so much. So I'm going to put a bit of this on the table uh, along the back. 
uh, just in case you've got any drinks there. And I'm going to put some on here uh, in this area, which can be removed when the uh, gas little gas cooker thing I've got um, goes there. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit in the corner to stop that thing, help try and help stop that thing slipping about so much. Good, good. That's that, and that one. All right. Piece probably for in there. 